Hi, and welcome to a quick overview of securing an Amazon Web Services account. My name is Dustin Harris. I'm an AWS Solutions Architect working with public sector organizations and supporting their focus on security. In this video, I'll step through some AWS account security best practices that I always recommend when creating new AWS accounts. These are also things that you should consider as you continuously reevaluate your AWS security. Here we are in the AWS console. When you create an account, by default, you're logged in as the root user. Now, because the root user has complete access to all permissions and services within the account, including managing payment information and even the ability to close the entire account, we strongly recommend creating a more restricted user for everyday usage. From then on, you'd only use the root account when absolutely necessary. To create that user, we'll use the Identity and Access Management Service, also known as IAM. First, we'll search for and navigate to the IAM Service Console and click Users on the left. Since this is a test environment, I've already got a few users here, but in a brand new account, this list would be empty. We'll click Create User and give it a meaningful name. Here, we're creating an administrative user that still has full service access across AWS, just without the additional rights that the root user has. Check this box to provide access to the console and not just the command line interface. We'll manage a password and remove the need to reset it on first login. Here, we can set permissions for the user. We could add the user to a group that already has permissions applied, or we could copy from an existing user. Instead, let's attach permission policies directly to the new user. This is a list of preset policies managed by AWS, but you could also create your own. Since we're creating an administrator user, let's filter by job function and select administrator access. If you expand the policy, you can see that this one has full access to any action and resource whereas the read-only access policy has a specific list of what's allowed. We'll click Next, Review, and then grab the console sign-in URL for quick access to logging in. Now that we've got a user created for daily tasks, our second recommendation is to enable multi-factor authentication, or MFA. This acts as your first layer of defense against unauthorized access to your AWS account. Setting up MFA is quick, supports multiple devices and authentication platforms. We'll click into our new user and select the Security Credentials tab. Here, we can see some information about the user's console login, as well as any assigned MFA devices. Let's click Assign MFA Device, give it a name, and then select the Authenticator app. Use your MFA device to complete the steps on this screen, and then click Add MFA when done. Additionally, we highly recommend you enable MFA for any additional users, and especially for the root user account. Lastly, I always recommend implementing some kind of tool for visibility into your AWS account. This is where Amazon GuardDuty comes in. GuardDuty provides intelligent threat detection and continuous monitoring across your AWS resources. It only takes two clicks to enable, starts working immediately, and it has a 30-day free trial. Let's search for Guard Duty, click Get Started, and then Enable Guard Duty. And that's it. We've enabled the service, and it's now monitoring the AWS account. Now, there are many more features you can configure, such as email alerts and automated remediation of any potential threats. For now, let's just look at a sample finding that GuardDuty can generate. 
Within settings, let's have GuardDuty generate some sample findings for us to look at. When GuardDuty detects potentially malicious behavior, it generates findings just like these. When you click into them, you're presented with everything that the service knows about the event, such as source IP, what resource was affected, the user accounts involved, and even what specific APIs were called. These findings can also be exported, archived, or used as triggers for automatic remediation, such as disabling a user account until the finding is fully investigated. This is an incredible tool for centralized visibility with minimal configuration. Thanks for watching this security overview. Please check out the additional security resources here for more information.